Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. Today we're going to do an update on MetaHero. A lot of things are happening recently, so throughout this video we'll take a look at some of the news and currently what's going on with the project, and then towards the end we'll have a look at some price analysis and identify a few key levels. So we'll have a look at a few areas below where you could potentially invest if the market does get a pullback, it is starting to look very strong now after that after that savage Bitcoin dump. And then we'll have a look at some areas above, some areas to take profit or accumulate, or maybe a bit of price prediction thrown in there too. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and let's crack on. So, welcome to the channel. Hell of a lot of bullish news coming now from MetaHero, so we'll take a look at the most interesting news over the course of the last couple of days, and like I say, then we'll jump into some price analysis. I cannot express to you how bullish I am on this project. I was probably the first YouTube channel to show this project to the world, and I will be sticking with it right through this current cycle. There's a lot of things going on, so let's take a look. So, MetaHero today has now pushed into the top 100 crypto projects on the planet. That is massive, considering they have only been around for six months and already pushed into that, that top 100 spot. In my opinion, it won't be long before it's turned into the top 50. The amount of people that are talking about this now is getting exciting. There's a lot of things going on. So let's like say we're now a top 100 project, but take a look over at Twitter. They've also got a huge new sponsorship, which is here. If you're looking um, to get into this giveaway, then um, head, over to, head over to this tweet here. So we're giving away 20 VIP trackside tickets for our race day competition. All you have to do is pretty much retweet this and follow MetaHero and Everdome. A huge sponsorship if you're looking to that further. You'll be able to see a video from Rob Green. But if you take a look at the, um, the, the actual blog itself on their website, you'll get a full breakdown of what is going on so we did promise fireworks in the final update of this series they have not um sh fallen short of that they will be taking over raceways on yaz island which is yaz marina from december 10th to the 12th as presenting sponsor of a rich list abu dhabi race weekend the formerly one weekend it will be a sponsorship of that also on the 11th of december the first global proof of fusion event will be launching during the f1 abu dhabi and a meta hero brand will be seen from the stars. This is going to be everywhere. Everybody who goes to that race, 150,000 people across the weekend, will see that brand, Meta Hero. So I'm very excited for this. And this is just a beginning, like Rob keeps saying. some. This is a massive partnership. One thing I did see the other day was Sony have actually got a partnership um, with Emirates. So imagine if Meta Hero can tap into that and start scanning people, scanning fans, scanning uh, the players itself. There's so much opportunity with MetaHero, um, it's hard not to be bullish. And in terms of price action, doing well. well obviously, we had that drop across the markets. If we just drop back to the daily time frame, a little bit of a squiggle there for me. But what we did, the entire market's pulled back and we dropped quite a significant amount, but it's nothing to worry about. Like, say, uh, dips are for buying until um, the cycle ends. But look at this current drop. We did drop a 35%. And pretty much the entire market did that. What we did do, we came back down and retested a previous high at 17 cents. So if you did manage to place some orders there, probably on Qcoin or Gate.io, then you will be in some substantial amount of profit. Because on that bottom, so far, we are currently 35% up. So all in all, it's been a, a great time for buying opportunities but we just need to put a little tiny bit of a bearish spin on this. I mean, I've got not a bearish bone in my body about Hero, but just in case the price does reject from current levels, we need to have a look at some areas where we could take that opportunities to buy in. So obviously we'll use a Fibonacci for this and we'll go from this move. That was the first move that I sold off into, but then looking at this latest move here, right, we've got a couple of key levels we could tag. We've obviously got the, the 382 level here, which is 21.8 cent, and then we have 20 cent. I think 20 cent is a nice psychological area of support. If you look at these wicks here, it's where we rejected. So that could be a potential area where if you're looking to invest, could be an area where you could play some targets. For me though, I think it's going to keep pushing now. And I think it's going to push up to this this market here, which I've got at 25 cent. Let me just make sure that's right. Yeah, that's an area of weekly resistance. And that could be an area where we could push up to. So 
let's envisage that that's going to be there. The freight tool level is going to be here from 22.7 down to 21.3. So all in all, what I would consider doing is laddering quite a few orders in. So I would ladder them in from around 22 cent on the nose all the way down to 20 cents. So maybe two to three orders within that trading area and it could be a decent area for you to potentially pick up some hero on the hourly it's starting the rsi is starting to push up but it's nothing to be concerned about uh, the rsi on the daily is around 66 is the same as the hourly so lots of room for growth above and remember when we do get into price discovery the markets will really start to push and the rsi will be high so do not worry about that it will have pullbacks on that way up because that's crypto that's what all the projects do so all in all um it is what it is if it does um, start pumping up just remember it may drop back slightly and um, looking at the, um, the moving averages i use a 50 and my 20 um, and we've been hella bullish since pretty much the 23rd of november um, we did get that bullish um, bullish cross down here uh, we did like it looked like we we're coming down but we've had that bounce back up so things are looking good Whenever I'm looking for trend continuation, what I do is monitor the moving average 50. So we obviously get that breakout of 50, broke out. I always look for retests of that 50, which it's done twice there. We actually dropped below it, but for me, I'm going to class this as a, a, a deviation just due to the fact that the entire market dumped and it was nothing fundamentally or price action wise directly for Hero that caused that drop. So for me, that's a deviation and we're now using that 50 here as support. We're actually now back above that moving average 20. If we manage to close the next couple of four hour candles above the moving average 20, then I can really envisage some price action um, quite substantial to the, to the upside. I think all time highs will be broken fairly soon. Um, so we're just dropping back to the daily again, and I want to put a little bit of a price prediction on here and some levels where you could potentially look to take profit. I'm actually going to use this previous move here. So we'll go from the, the bottom there, sorry, from the top to the bottom. And this gives a couple of levels above. So we've obviously got some key areas. We've got 27 cent, 30 cent, 37 cent. My price prediction for the end of this year is about 49 cent. I know it's like, it's the 5th of December now. There's not too much long left of this year. But when this project gets going and, and people start to, to realize what the actual use case is and how it can be used in, in the metaverse world, I think it will really catch on. I think we'll really start to see some growth. In terms of where I think this project can go in the future, I think it's a multi-dollar asset. I think it's a multi-billion dollar asset too. Um, but let's just have a look at CoinGecko and have a look at some stats. So not my portfolio. I don't want to don't want to dox myself there. So we'll go to um, CoinGecko.com. We'll have a look at Hero itself. Currently ranked 100. That's amazing considering what they've achieved so far. So we have a circular supply of 5.2 billion coins. In my opinion, I think this can be a multi-billion dollar asset. There's nothing to say that we cannot push up to that two, three, three dollar mark. I mean, that is a, a definite possibility. If we go up to one dollar, we're obviously going to be valued at five point two billion dollars. That's definitely, definitely possible. But that could be just for start. We've got a lot of projects that are coming to the table in Metaverse, and I think that the growth we are going to expect is going to be very substantial. We have seen what's happening with sand and Decentraland. Um, so the world is your oyster for Metaverse. So this is still only 23 cent. Um, just buy in. Buy in. Hold on for the next three to six months. And I think you will be um, in a great position um, for some really good growth. So that's going to do it today. That's an update on Metaverse, my thoughts, some news, and then just a little bit of price analysis there for you. If you are new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button, and I'll catch you next time.